Here I'm going to assume that you have your VLOOKUP source data or the table array in the same worksheet or tab as the actual VLOOKUP functions. So here I've got VLOOKUP functions and this is the data that that function or those functions will be returning. And I'm going to show you how to hide this data so that you can have it next to the functions but you don't have to see it. That'll make it so it's a little bit more difficult for people to accidentally delete, remove, augment, or just make the worksheet a bit cleaner looking. Now you can use these tricks or tips that I'm about to show you if the data is on another worksheet or tab, it doesn't really matter. It's just that if it's on the same tab as your VLOOKUP functions, you're probably going to want to use this. So here we've got the lookup value, the ID number, and we can get some information about some employees, and here are the VLOOKUP functions. Now I am going to assume that you know how to input and use a VLOOKUP function. Otherwise check out some of the other tutorials. But the main thing is, let's go over here and make it so we can't see this data. So if we zoom out to 100% we can see it all. Now the first thing is just to make it all the same color as the background. So select all of the data, go up here in the font group and select white. Now we do still have a border up here so let's remove that. And now we can access all of the data here but no one will know that the data is over here unless they select the cells. So look to the formula bar up here and you can still see the data. Now that's probably the most basic way to hide the data. So let me back up. The other two ways you can do this very easily is to use grouping. So we select the columns that contain the data, then go to the data tab, all the way to the right in the outline group, hit group, Now we can hit this little minus sign and the data will not appear. So these columns have been hidden, but it's very easy to unhide them. Just hit the plus sign and they reappear. Everything still works like before. Now here it's going to be very easy for someone to tell that you've got more data here. So you may or may not want to use this, but it's a very nice way to hide the data and to still make it very easy to access it. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now the last way is just to flat out hide the columns. So using the grouping technique that actually does hide the columns, but it makes it very apparent that the columns have been hidden by giving us that little plus sign above the columns. So this time select the columns that contain the data, right click the column headers, and select hide. Notice now it goes from column F to column L. There is no plus sign telling everyone that the data has been hidden. And this works just like it did before. Now if you have a lot of stuff on this worksheet or tab, or you want to make it just a little bit more difficult to actually view the data used in the VLOOKUP functions, this last method to just straight up hide the columns is probably going to be the best one to use. Now an easy way to unhide the columns is to select both columns to the left and right of the hidden data, right click, and hit unhide. So now I've shown you three very simple, quick and easy ways to hide data that's used as your source data for a VLOOKUP function. You can use this to hide any data in Excel, but it does work very well with table array source data for VLOOKUP functions, especially when they're on the same worksheet or tab. So just to recap, the first and easiest way is to select the data and just make it the same color as the background color of the cells. Then if you have any borders, remove the borders. 
or you can select the data, go to the data tab and hit group. If this little box pops up, just select columns in this case. Or you can actually select the data and right click the column headings and hit hide. And that's all you have to do to hide VLOOKUP source data in Excel.